I'm almost ready, kiddo. Just like you were last time you called? I'm almost out the door, I swear. Relax. You still got at least an hour before it starts. Yeah, it's just I, I couldn't find my other earring and that helped me up. Don't worry, Dad's not even here yet. Okay, good. Just sit tight, okay? I'll be there soon. I just have one more thing I have to take care of. Are you sure this place is empty? Positive. It's my dad's rental property. It's been vacant for months. Looks like it's going to storm. Perfect. Weezy's gonna be scared out of his mind. You got those rings, right? The precious. They're ours. <laughs> See you soon, Gollum. As soon as I go, I'll mortar up Jack Manning. Make sure he leaves you alone once and for all. Party dress? How did you know about the shindig that I was throwing for Natalie? This place is creepy. Duh, that's the point. She just means it's perfect. It's totally gonna work. Not if we waste time talking. Come on, let's get set up. Weezy's gonna be here soon. First date with Comic Girl. Come on, let's go! Hurry up! What shindig for Natalie? Well, we're gonna celebrate her recovery and finding her kid. That's a great idea. Oh, it is. But if you didn't know about it, then how come you're so dressed up? Rex and I are getting married. My Rex? Roxy... Did my invitation get lost in the mail? No, we did not forget about you. Really, it's just th the timing of it all is very sudden, and we're keeping it very small. Mm. Microscopic, mm. actually, just the bride and the groom and Shane, of course. Oh, I see. So sons rate an invitation, but mama bears don't. <laughs> Shane's not just our son. He he's Rex's best man. So you got a maid of honor? No, I don't. And, uh, well, you got uh, one now. Oh, Pro Proxy, really, I don't, you know, I don't, Baby, you don't have to. No, I have to be there when Rex says I do to the woman that he loves the love of his life. Now, we may not be flesh and blood, but he is my son. And, you know, DNA, well, that's just diddly. Mm -hmm. Besides, I couldn't think of a better daughter-in-law. Oh. So... It's gonna kill me if I'm not there to see the smiles on your faces when you say I do. So what do you say? Huh? Am I in? You're in, definitely. I, I would be honored to have you stand up for me. All right, let's rock! <laughs> well, what am I standing around here for? I gotta get on the stick. What are you talking about? Well, Maid of Honor has a lot of responsibilities. Cakes, balloons, something old, something borrowed, okay, something wait, blue, wait. that kind of thing. Wait, I don't think I need any of that. Most important thing, we got to get strippers. I, I, I definitely don't need strippers, Roxy. You didn't have the bachelor party without no. me, did you? No, Roxy, we're just we're just trying to get married, okay? No bells, no whistles, no gyrating naked men. <laughs> uh, just me, the man I love. My son and you, of course. So, what do you say? Can you handle that? What do you think, baby? I can handle anything. Okay, good. So all you have to do is, is show up. Okay, all right. But, you know, I still think you need that something old, something borrowed, something new. You know, something old, you know, like, for good luck. Damn, I must have something old in here. Roxy, I, I really don't... this will work. I mean... Look at this. This is like the trifecta. This is the whole shebang. It's something old, but of course it's new to me. And it's something borrowed, uh, but you know, it belonged to somebody else. And <laughs> look at that. <laughs> ah, it's something blue. Well, let me see that. <gasps> no, 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 what I mean is that that, that is not Shane's therapy session. 
but it says... No, I know. I know what it says, but it, it's labeled wrong or something. Okay, good. So you didn't hear Shane Spill's guns? No. No, that is Marty's therapy session. And I was just getting to the good part. Oh, come on, Maddie. What do you think you're going to hear anyway? Uh, maybe what Marty did. She said she caused our breakup. That's not me. By the way, this can't be the same tape. Rex put it back. Rex? Fell in an angel square. It's got music on it or something. Or something. Wait a second, I got new batteries for it. I didn't have a chance to put it in yet. But let's load and lock and listen, and maybe there's something good that we could play at the wedding. Roxy, we're going to have to do it later. I really need you to get to the courthouse and tell Shane that I'm on my way. I will be there soon. I just have a quick errand I have to run first. Oh, no errands for you. That's what a maid of honor is good for. We don't want you being late for your own wedding. <laughs> I've still got plenty of time, and this won't take long, I swear. Okay, okay. listen, I just want you to know... I'm so glad that you and Rex are going to have you happily ever after. Me too. Me too. It's beautiful. Oh. First things first. This wedding joint with your grandma? I thought it was just gonna be mom, dad, and me. <laughs> well, your mom had to invite me. She's gonna be here any minute. Yeah, dad, too. He probably got caught up somewhere. Oh, this is so exciting. You must be so happy. <laughs> yeah. I know, things have been a little tough for you lately. It's getting better. Oh, I could have gotten my hands on those punks. It's cool, really. I'm getting things under control. Yeah, how? A couple of knuckle sandwiches? <laughs> Not exactly. I just figured out how Jack was trying to mess with me. You really flipped the script on him, didn't you? Well, I was going to. I was actually really excited to be Jack at his own game, but then Mom found out and stopped me before I could figure out what he was planning. Thank you, Shane, for not taking this out of the car when I asked you to. What's going on? He's here. Sounds like a girl. <laughs> Down here. Shouting? Come on, Jack. She's got to be freaking out there in the dark. Duh. That's the point. Maybe we shouldn't be keeping them there as long as we plan. Fine. If you think five minutes is enough to make up for Weezy crushing your toes and turning you into Gimpy McGimpster... Excuse me? I'm just saying, if you let this go, Shane's going to be running around telling everyone that you wimped out. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Let's go. Okay, I'm 
gonna need more light if I'm gonna find a way out of here. like the one we had back home in case of an outage. Okay. I'm just gonna find a switch. Please. There'll be light. Oh, thank God. Okay. Okay. Now I can see find a way out of here so I can get to my wedding. So you really dropped a weight on Jack's toes? Pretty much. Well, you should have broken his kneecaps. But I am so proud of my grandson. <laughs> and baby, I got to admit something. I was a little worried when Echo de Savoy came into your life that I was going to lose you. No way. I mean, Echo is cool, but, you know, you're Roxy. I am, <laughs> and I'm so glad, because in my book, you really are a true balsam, even if you really are a Buchanan. Cheese. Formaggio. Oh! Shane, thanks for holding down the fort. I was delayed, unnecessarily. Roxy, what are you... I'm here for the bride. Oh. Who's not here? Where is Gigi? Of course this didn't work. Why would this work? Oh, God, those kids are gonna get it. Oh. They're gonna come back. They have to come back. They weren't gonna leave Shane locked in here forever. Hello? Anybody up there? Yeah, uh, I have a wedding to get to. Mine? 